Oh, that's a nice kick. So nearly eight minutes gone, and the visitors ahead. It's the Ulster nil and Benetton three. Nicely done by by Billy Burns, playing his 53rd game for his adopted club. Herring throws. Carter takes. Carter nearly bundled out of it, but he's managed to get it away. Now it's Moore. Better pass this time. Burns. Crossfield kick. That could go anywhere. Crock's gone into Craig Gilroy. And my word, he's deserved that. And Craig Gilroy gets try number 67. Are they going to have a look at this one as well? What was wrong with that, David? I don't think there was anything wrong with it. That's maybe the bit of luck that Ulster needed. The worrying thing, Jim, just as Billy Burns kicked the ball, he went down injured. I think Billy Burns at this stage would be a real blow. Seems to be a problem with his, with his left leg. I'm not sure whether it was a, a tackle after he kicked it. I'd like to have another look at that. But what a, what a, what a great finish by... By, by Craig Gilroy, who, as we mentioned, is fast approaching his 200th Ulster appearance, just snatched it out of the hand of Ryder oh, Smith, who I don't think knew where Craig Gilroy yeah. was coming from. The beauty of a rugby ball, Jim, it bounces anywhere, sometimes for you, sometimes against you. And for, for, for Craig yeah, there, please, for Gilroy please. there, that's, that's the perfect bounce. But I've as I said, huge. And, uh, good to see Billy yeah, getting up, just but just the way fine. he was I'm fine. Thanks. moving in the ground There's suggested that it was a nasty enough. Burns has found his touch. Herring has found his man. Likewise, Doak, Stuart Moore, straight down the middle. Doak again quickly this time. Matty Ray. Doak again. Nice switch, Doak. That's well done here. Goes David McCann back inside to Doak. It's going to be a second try for Ulster, is it? Yes, Doak rolls and touches it down. And that was an absolute gem. That's more like it. That's a training ground move set up with an inside pass. I've had to, to, not sure which player came the inside pass, Jim, but beautifully executed, timing perfect. He got one against Glasgow, and he's now got one against Benetton. And we're well into the second quarter of this game, and Ulster just starting to open up a little bit, but that was a, a wonderful team try, nicely finished off by the big scrum half. But that's a sign of a great scrum half, just his awareness of what's happening around him, the support lines we oft, I, I've read a number of comparisons between the way Nathan plays and, and Pinar and the skills and attributes that he brought to the game, that was one of Ruan's greatest strengths, his ability to read the play Under seven minutes remaining Herring to Carter, the old one too, and here they go again. They got the drive on before Rob Herring even joined him at the back. And there's a couple of Benetton players just holding on for grim death at the back of that. They're not allowed to change position. Ulster for the line. Herring's got it this time. He suddenly hurtled out of that driving white maul and stretched, and with the left hand, he popped it down. So it is a good night for Rob Herring. Yeah, well deserved. A very good maul, very well set early. Unlike previous lineouts, you know, that's him still 100% kicking success since, uh, since since the start of the season. And let's get out of this this rough way, and we're stuck in our 22. Let's get a, a kick off and get back into our game because it's just at the minute sapping the energy out of the game, sapping the energy out of the Ulster players, sapping the energy out of the crowd. So fight, sit. This could be a, an interesting scrum that's gone down, I think, on the Ulster tight head side. Pick up at the back by Stain. Great tackle by, by Nick Timoney. Brady moves it wide. There's a half chance here. Tayovara, he's over. He's got the ball down, has he? And the referee has given the try. And they're back in this game. They've a long, long way to go, but they've been pretty close before here in this particular ground. But that's their first try right just about midway through the second half. As I said a moment ago, Jim, this at least will get Ulster out of out of the where they've been in terms of field position for the last ten minutes. And it's maybe the kick kick they need to really say right. Ross Kane. All slow to wee bit. Doak. Tops it up. Great defence once again. Three minutes remaining. Doak. Sean Reedy. Doak again. Surely also can make it. They're very close. Stay on. And they're even closer now. Doak again has a go himself. 
And has he got it down? He has got it down. Second try for Nathan Doak. And the bonus point try with just a couple of minutes of this pulsating game remaining at the King's Fan Stadium. Having had a man down, they've managed the game and come away very with, with a comfortable win. And again, well recognised by, by Nathan Doak. He, he, he's certainly been the dominant person in the game in terms of the scores. Um, but his all-round game has been very good. Good try. Well, in the first half, he got himself a try and and three conversions. In the second half, he's got himself a try and can he add a conversion? But what's the important thing is that Ulster have got themselves a bonus point try and that'll take their points in the table up to up to 15 a maximum after three games and you couldn't get any better than that. Good work by Blaine McElroy, who's had a a quiet second half, not his fault. Here comes Marin, who had the final say to win the game against uh, Edinburgh. Thrown back in field, but not forward. And Dave Shannon puts it into touch. And Ulster have won it right at the death with the bonus point.